Well, Miss Wheeler, looks like you're going to get to pay into that trust after all, because if they're not here in the next two minutes... Sorry, I'm late, Your Honor. I had a last-minute snafu. Hold on, I thought Larry Samuels was on this. He was, but Larry's who they call when they don't need me. Dana Scott. Oh. Heard a lot about you. Have you now? I actually used to work at your firm, back when there were only three names on the wall. Now there's so many, it's hard to keep track. Well, after this, you'll keep track just fine. Because you haven't lived up to your obligations. And according to these six precedents, we have the right to nullify this entire deal right now. You don't have the right to do anything. You're in violation of your contract. Paying into a trust isn't a violation. No, but meeting with the competition is. I don't know what you're talking about. No, you just didn't know I'd find out about it. Because that snafu, Your Honor, was waiting on confirmation that Samantha Wheeler has engaged in a pattern of dirty tricks, unethical behavior, and borderline illegal activity, all in the name of representing her clients. And you're gonna say that about me? You better damn well be able to back it up, which you can't. Here are three of Miss Wheeler's old cases. In them, you'll find payments forced, settlements withheld, and meetings with the competition, just like she did last week. How the hell did you get those? Doesn't sound like you're denying they're true. Miss Wheeler, did you meet with the competition last week? Your Honor, my past cases have no relevance here. No, but your answers to my questions do. Did you meet with them? Yes, but... You came into my chambers ready to lie and cheat and God knows what else. So you are going to dissolve that trust. You're going to pay her client the money you owe them. And I don't ever want to see you in my chambers on this case again. Thanks, Bill. Who's Bill? Just one of my many lovers calling to say hi. Or your doorman calling to say he's got your dry cleaning. Why can't he be both? Now, why don't you tell me what you're doing in enemy territory? See, that's the thing, Scotty. You're an opponent. You're not an enemy. I don't want to see you get hurt. What is that? A way out. We buy your client at a fair price. They make a fortune. Everybody comes out ahead. I don't believe it. I win the championship and you want me to share the trophy? You didn't win anything yet. And she's not letting this go. So what? So you two are on a collision course and it isn't going to be pretty. I didn't pick this fight. But you escalated it by using information you got from me to go personal against my partner. I did what I had to do on behalf of my client. Well, Samantha's going to do what she has to. And trust me, what she's willing to do isn't something you want a piece of. Does she even know about this? I should have known. Get out of my office, Harvey. I don't believe this. You lie to my face about taking a case against me, and now you're upset that I don't have Samantha's approval before coming over here? I said that I didn't have a case against you, not her. Well, now you do have a case against me, whether you like it or not, because I gave you that offer, which means you have to present it to your client. You are not one of the attorneys listed on this case. I do not have to present anything, and even if I did, I can tell you what they'd say. Go to hell. Scotty. Thank you for the warning, Harvey, but I'm doing just fine. Okay. Have it your way. But don't come crying to me when she figures out how to turn the tables. Hello. Samantha, it's Dana Scott. Dana, to what do I owe the pleasure? Look, we got off on the wrong foot today. You obviously don't want to be in business with us anymore, so I came up with a compromise. I'm listening. You honor your contract for the next 18 months and reduce your fees every quarter after that, and we won't enforce our exclusivity clause. I get it. You get to keep your revenue stream so your earnings don't take a hit, and we get to quietly pursue a new partnership. Plus, you save the backlash from me telling the judge that you're still working on this, like I know you are. I gotta say, it's a pretty good move. And under other circumstances, you'd have yourself a deal. What other circumstances? One where there wasn't more going on here than meets the eye. There's nothing else going on here. Save it. You're coming to me with a compromise when you have me? You did something here, and I'm going to find it. What makes you think I won't find out more on you because it took me barely an hour to find out what I already did? I think playing dirty isn't your specialty. You took a walk on the wild side, and turns out you fucked with the wrong Marine. Listen to me. Sorry, Dana. I'm done listening because I got to get back to looking.